Hi, my name is Rick Swepo. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this particular um, glass morphism using your Corel Draw. You see, it's just um, it's transparent and just like it looks like a glass. So that is what I'll be showing you in today's tutorial. Now, if you see that, uh, okay, maybe you want to place a particular text on an image. But the text won't uh, fit in very well. So what you do is you just create a glass morphism around it. To so do you see how, how the text looks like here? So it's it's not nice. So for this now you will be able to place your text on it, and it won't affect your image. It won't affect your text. So that is what I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial glass morphism so let me go back to a new page and um, the, reason, the reason why i got this uh, this particular page is because of the image i used and yeah, so this is the image it's uh, high like this so i just place the value there so let me let me bring in the image i used so this is the image i used i'm dragging it in now if you see this particular image now so that is 2.453 by 3.68 so that is why i used the 2.453 by 3.68 so i double tap on this and i'm removing the purple color just to create my workspace i'm going to be doing my design so for this i click on my image and press p to fill in the space the next thing I'll do is I'll uh, come over to my shape again, just draw out the shape. So the shape you want and where you want to place it, you just do it like that. Press on your shift and tap on the background and see on your keyboard to centralize it. So for this, I don't want it to be sharp edge. I just want to curve the edges a bit. So I go back to my shape tool and drag it like this. Okay. The next thing, let me just duplicate this. Um, let me duplicate this because I'll be using it again. Then for this also, um, let me say Ctrl C. Let me just copy the image down. Just what I'm doing, I click on Ctrl C on the image. Then I right click on that particular image and power clip it inside this box. Now the image of the background is out. That is why I press my Ctrl C before. So now I'm pressing Ctrl V and Ctrl page down to take this particular image back to the circle and back to the shape now if you check it you see that the one i power clip is there and the image is back there the reason why i do this is um, i want the image to the image in the circle to have the same shape with the image of the background that is just the only trick there because if, if it's not the same your morphism won't come out well so the image inside the shape should be the same size with the image uh, in the background. So for this, I come over to my edit to edit it. Now this is inside my power clip and this is the image. So I click on it, I come over to my effects, I come over to blur and Gaussian blur. So for here, I'm going to reduce it to the size I want. Uh, just, okay, let me leave it. In 11.1 okay click my okay and click on finish now it's blow but uh let, let me still blow it a bit i don't i don't want it like that so let me add more blood to it that is um let me say like um 14.9 okay so I click on finish all right so you see that the same size um how the image is is the same way it is on your background you see from here you see the uh, the finger is the same with this so that is why i 
make sure that the one I power clip inside my uh, shape is the same size with the one that is at the background. Now, after this, I just okay, let me remove the outline for this. The outline here. So, I come over to this one now, I change it to white color and I remove the outline again. And for this, I just press my shift and tap on this particular one, then say my C and E to. Uh, to fit in the, the power clip image there so for this I can come over to my transparency and just uh, reduce it like so uh, now it seems I don't let, 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 let me see how the transparency um, how the power clip will be again Go back okay so from this now let me let me um, reduce the blur what's going on so effects blur motion blur so let me just reduce it a bit to like um Point three. Click on finish and bring this here C and D. E. So for the whites, I just uh, reduce the transparency to like um, 95. So I reduce the transparency to like 95. This is how I created this particular design using Corel Draw 2020. If you like this video, click the like button to help YouTube show, show it to other subscribers. And if you are yet to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you won't be out of any of my tutorial outputs. So thanks guys for watching this to the end. See you in the next video.